People were going mental about that taxi slam. That was, I was getting hit by cabs like five times a week at that point. And the cabbie was livid because he saw that I landed straight on my feet. So him and the general public around me on the crossing just skipped sympathy and it was just straight to anger. And he called me an arsehole. And I was just like, wait, I was like, wow, I've got a lot of adrenaline in me right now. And I was just waiting for, to, to sort of realize that I'd broken a rib or something, but it was totally fine. I went to see Matilda at the theater like two hours later. Loads of, loads of things about my life I've found I've had to change or stressed out because I've been skating and I've been trying a trick for six hours and not done it or it started raining and I've got all of this pent up aggression or anxiety and I've uh, over sort of my teenage years found lots of other ways of suppressing that. and creating artworks and clothing and skateboard videos or whatever it is, but creating itself is the only thing that's provided some immediate sort of relief for me. I always just think of that Keith Haring quote, that art is for everyone, because all of my favourite art is not pretentious and pretty easy to understand and easy and free to enjoy. So to have been given the opportunity to create the three murals in New York, well, it's amazing, obviously, and I hope people like them as much as I do, because they're pretty fucking hard to miss. I never at any point decided I want to be a designer or I want to be a model or I want to be a skateboarder or an artist. It's just all fallen into place very um, naturally. All right, cute jacket. <laughs> what did you say? You said cute jacket. Oh, well, that's kind. <laughs> I started skating for Palace when I was probably 14 or 15 in the last couple of months of filming for Palasonic, the big video, you know, there was a lot on. I had Thames Mainline, the Fred Perry project, the jewellery project, us and Kem, which meant a huge amount to me. Squeezed in an arena home story, and the Burberry campaign and all the Burberry stuff. The only time I could really possibly find to skate was between the hours of about midnight and five in the morning which is why a lot of my parts filmed in Piccadilly Circus and Trafalgar Square and Leicester Square and areas that would otherwise be flooded with tourists during the day. As time's gone on, it used to be total uh, relief for me from everything else. And now the standards are so high, particularly with like when you go on, on trips, like the best skateboarders in the world are there. You have to perform to a sort of certain standard. And it's like it's kind of, not so much fun as it is like work a little bit. I, what I really like to do is go skating on my own for like six hours with no one filming me. So I don't really think of myself as a 20 year old. I don't think a lot of people do, which is quite, you know, which makes things easier because people don't really take you seriously. I banged on it before and a gypsy started talking to me. Such a high concentration of fun in a low surface area. It's not even open. Should we go home? I'd like to be arrogant enough to say, do as I do and yeah, don't bother with school and do whatever you want, it'll all work out probably. But um, <laughs> I think it's probably safer to say, just don't do anything you don't want to do or feel pressured or forced to be anyone but yourself. No, I don't really feel like I've got time to be overwhelmed by anything. I do get stressed out, um, obviously, quite often. I have like sort of five or six things on the boil at the same time, but um, I've no one to blame for that but myself. <laughs>